Thank you, Nisha. Uh, I am Dikesh. Uh, now you know the, uh, how uh, our project works. Uh, you know the basic problem of our project. Now I will be discussing how we have implemented it and what technology we have used, what issues we have encountered during that implementation. So, first of all, to display the map, we have used Google, uh, Google Maps API. We have two options for that. Uh, we might have one for Yahoo uh, uh, or for Google Maps. But the Google Maps uh, was a better one because it provides more flexibility and have uh, um, API uh, where we can do more things rather than Yahoo Maps. Then uh, for getting information uh, for the, from the uh, point of interest, we have used Wikipedia and Yellow Pages. Uh, for Wikipedia, we have used basically a database of Wikipedia, which is DBpedia. And this is a, again an open source project and where you can use a, a specific query language, which is, which is a Spark well, and you can query uh, for particular information and uh, you can fetch the data in XML or HTML, whatever you uh, want. So we have just used DBpedia and we uh, send the Spark well queries and uh, fetch the data in the XML and then we display it on Google Maps. And in Yellow Pages, as uh, you know, that it just requires a, a zip code and it sends us the a point of interest. And here, uh, it, it also requires a uh, radius of service that is 5 miles or 10 miles so that you can get uh, all the point of interest. And then for uh, point side uh, programming uh, to handle the client request, we have these widgets. And uh, all the server side uh, programming is done in SP.NET. And to store the local uh, uh, data we have used a MySQL Python. Now, implementation uses. Now, our design is ex uh, extendable. It's not only uh, limited to the Texas universities. You can uh, always uh, replace it to the, uh, any points, like uh, even if you want to uh, change it to uh, some uh, government uh, buildings or something, or uh, whatever domain you can think of. We are, we, uh, what we are using is just the address of a particular uh, location and then we can find the point of interest near, near about it. So right now for demonstration we have just used the Texas University so you can select a particular university and you can find near, uh, nearby point of interest. But uh, it's always extendable to any, uh, for any locations. Now our design is portable, we have uh, whatever uh, services we have used we can uh, always uh, uh, change uh, those services and uh, we can use, we have used configuration files so that we can, uh, by default we are using 5 months uh, search radius, we can uh, change it and customize it uh, the way we want. And as you, we have discussed, we have used three tire architecture and we have used component based design, like we have to design our own uh, user control uh, where we can show all those things and we have designed our uh, classes. Uh, so our design is basically component based. Now I'll be discussing uh, next implementation issues. What issues we have encountered during the implementation? First, uh, when we started, we uh, decided to uh, handle all the client re uh, requests on the uh, client side only, and we are trying to fetch the data from the uh, JavaScript and all those things. Right? Uh, then we talked with Dr. and he said uh, suggested, uh, suggested that uh, it's not going to work because we are. Uh, there are some security issues and you can use JavaScript for the local domain only. So we use uh, all, all the uh, processing on the uh, server side. We then uh, basically uh, use ASP.NET for the uh, server side processing. Then uh, the next issue we encountered was <coughs> geocodes. Uh, we were uh, trying to calculate the, uh, all the distances uh, from the point of interest and uh, between the universities. So we uh, how we can uh, store the address or uh, how we can calculate the distance between the point of interest and the university. So uh, basically we, uh, we, we find some functions to uh, calculate the ge uh, distance between the, uh, if we have some geocodes we can find the distance between uh, these two uh, places using some JavaScript function and all those things. But uh, again it was uh, like if you do search for a particular university and there are thousands of uh, uh, points and we, uh, we have suppose uh, uh, 10,000 entries in the database, then we have to uh, do a lot of calculation. Then Dr. Yu suggested us that there is uh, a functionality in a MySQL database where you can you have, you can uh, store the geocode extensions and they uh, provide you the, some functions where you can calculate the distance between the uh, two points and you have geocodes. 
So basically that's why I mean, uh, earlier we were using um, MSX database, then we switched on MySQL and we solved this problem uh, with MySQL. Now, now, unavailability of data sources. What, like we are using the web services and uh, we are relying on DBpedia and all those things. So what happens when a particular uh, data source goes off or uh, servers is down? So we have just uh, given a graceful breakdown that if uh, some particular web service is not available at that time, they will not be showing that particular data. And like it's a, a short span of time and we have tried to implement all those features. So we have uh, left some work for uh, Fusion and where we can store some data locally and we can serve it uh, from the local database if uh, some service is done. Now, this is our project timeline. Basically, it's uh, uh, with this project and where our requirements and all those things are changing. Uh, so, you can see there's a few uh, overlap between all those things, but uh, as you can see, we yeah, have this team function design analysis in the first piece. Then, we have started design, then documentation, and coding and testing, and the rest of the process. Now, uh, I'll ask uh, Sanjay to show the. Thank you.